The Merkava Mach 5, Israel's latest armored titan, thunders across a rugged battlefield. Its 120mm smoothbore gun effortlessly locks onto distant targets, each shot echoing its dominance. Amidst the chaos, the Merkava's trophy active protection system springs into action. This sophisticated shield, a mesh of sensors and interceptors, swats away incoming threats with an almost sentient vigilance, safeguarding the steel beast and its crew. Inside this fortress on treads, the crew, their vision augmented by Elbit's iron vision helmet, sees the world outside in panoramic clarity. This fusion of reality and technology turns the battlefield into an interactive map of friend and foe. But the soul of the Merkava Mark V lies in its AI-driven core. This intelligent nexus processes data at lightning speed, weaving a tapestry of tactical decisions and painting targets for the tank's lethal arsenal. The Merkava Mark V, akin to the F-35's revolution in the skies, brings a transformative impact to the battlefield, heralding a new age of armored warfare with its unparalleled blend of strength and technology. Israel, established over seven decades ago in the Middle East, has faced constant threats from its neighbors since 1947. Surrounded by practicing Muslims who had once belonged to the mighty Ottoman Empire, Israel quickly built up its military with the help of Europe and the United States to face its neighbors. A robust defense strategy was also required to face attacks from different fronts. Consequently, in the 1960s and 70s, the Israel Defense Force began developing its military equipment for the conflicts with its neighbors. In 1979, the IDF introduced its main battle tank, the Merkava, becoming a vital component of the Israeli Armored Corps. The innovative tank was originally part of a joint venture with the United Kingdom to produce a chieftain tank variant. The UK later reneged on the deal, supplying the tank to Arab countries instead, and prompting Israel to reconsider its defense strategy. The 1973 Yom Kippur War resulted in significant tank and crew losses for Israel leading the IDF to recognize the urgent need for an advanced armored vehicle. General Israel Tai, credited for leading the 84th Armored Brigade to victory in the Six-Day War, played a key role in designing the Merkava. In response to heavy losses suffered before, General Tai prioritized crew protection in the Merkava's design. It featured thick-spaced armor and sharp angles to enhance protection against anti-tank rounds. The Merkava featured a unique internal structure with a front-facing engine, diverging from the rear-positioned engine standard in most tanks of that era. The Merkava symbolized Israel's commitment to defense and survival, embodying the nation's resilience and innovation in the face of external threats. The Merkava proved its effectiveness during the 1982 Lebanon War. The Israeli tank outperformed Syria's Soviet-supplied T-62 armored vehicles. Over the years, several improved Merkava variants surfaced, featuring new advancements to make it even more lethal against new threats in the region. A reliable tank rolled against guerrilla forces during the 2002 Second Intifada, in which several Palestinian uprisings in Israel-occupied territories in Palestine resulted in the loss of several vehicles and soldiers. In 2006, over five Merkabas were destroyed during the Lebanon War. Still, the rest of the Israeli tanks avenged them with total devastation, decimating entire Hezbollah strongholds. In 2014, the Merkava 4 variants performed well during a seven-week-long Gaza war with Hamas as part of Operation Protective Edge. The trophy system's success on the battlefield was an instrumental asset for Israel's armored corps. Considering the Merkava 5 variants' enhancements, the IDF will prepare well for future conflicts. In late September 2023, the Israel Defense Force and the government unveiled the next iteration of the Merkava tank the Mark V model. Also dubbed the Mark V Barak, or Lightning, this version has been developing for over five years. It will slowly replace the Mark IV tanks that first rolled out of the production line over 20 years ago. The announcement came after an intense month of rough testing under the Israeli Armored Corps. According to the military, more models of the Mark IV Barak will be delivered to the Armored Corps in the following months to continue its testing phase before its official deployment on Israel's northern border with Syria. The Lightning Tank is also based on the Merkava platform, but features enhanced survivability and defensive features. For instance, it will include better blast protection, improved ergonomics, and a more robust crew compartment layout. The Mark V will also have a windbreaker for anti-tank missile protection. It will also detect and engage anti-tank guided missiles, or ATGMs, even before firing, allowing for a quick interception. Furthermore, 
The Mark V will incorporate the latest technological advancements, including improved sensors, communication systems, and even greater integration of artificial intelligence for enhanced battlefield awareness and decision-making. During a press release, Brigadier General Oren Guibert of the Defense Ministry mentioned, quote, This will be the most advanced tank in the world, with a high-quality sensor system based on artificial intelligence for enemy detection and an intuitive and user-friendly interface for the crew and deadly weapon systems. We've created an unbreakable armored platform, with all its software infrastructure designed for continuous improvement and upgrading in future versions. Giber also added the tank featured top-of-the-line camera setups to enhance the crew's combat awareness with all-around visibility in close-quarters engagements. This feature was developed to bolster the tank's survivability in urban combat scenarios where buildings and corners are critically dangerous, as enemies with improvised explosive devices and RPGs can hide behind cover and attack the Merkava from behind. Such has been the case of Israel's latest encounters in the Middle East, where guerrilla-style warfare has become the norm of the opposing forces, particularly the ongoing conflicts with Palestine. Brigadier General Geber was not wrong when he compared the Mark IV Lightning to a land version of the powerful American F-35 jet. The Lightning includes the Iron Vision helmet made by Elbit Systems, which is being fielded for the first time with the new tank. The Iron Vision helmet is linked to sophisticated sensors outside the tank. It allows the commander to see outside with enhanced peripheral vision, much like an F-35 fighter pilot. A video published by Elbit and the IDF shows the Mark V fitted with the latest sensors and cameras, highlighting how the tank forms part of a communication network linked with other units and headquarters. This major intercommunications feature is part of the Torch C4I system, which allows the Merkaba to process images with the help of the sensors and the AI. In return, this helps the crew easily identify threats and objects classified as hostile to neutralize them immediately. According to the Jewish News Syndicate, quote, the tank will also include new advanced sensors, enabling it to independently acquire targets and strike them rapidly, as well as deploy electronic warfare capabilities and advanced processing systems. The over-the-top AI features of the Merkava 5 still go on. The tank also has an operational application store that allows each crew member to select their role and current rank before a mission. The vehicle then opens an overlay that allows the crew to choose the capabilities for the desired operation, providing the ideal package for every crew member. In the case of the driver, the tank showcases an advanced navigation system that resembles the Waze application, but with the latest information and intelligence provided by the military, such as enemy presence, secure routes, rough terrain, urban areas, or ATGM presence. The rest of the crew also has access to their own information related to their specific roles through a 21-inch multi-touch screen. Another revamped feature of the Merkava 4 that's made its way to the Mark V is the Trophy Active Protection System, which further enhances the armor protection of the tank. This includes upgraded composite and modular armor. The Trophy Active Protection System protects the main battle tank from various projectiles, such as anti-tank guided missiles, rockets, and high-explosive rounds. The IDF has stated that during testing, a pair of Merkava Mark Vs could perform the tasks previously performed by an entire platoon of armored vehicles, thanks to the innovative AI features and Elbit's latest sensor system. With the ongoing war against Hamas, it's only a matter of time before the Mark V makes it to the front lines, to see it in an active combat scenario alongside its predecessor. The Mark IV weighs around 65 tons, while the Mark V is estimated to weigh around 75 tons with the additional armament. The Mark V is also larger in length, width, and height. While both vehicles share the same 120mm smoothbore gun, the Mark V may improve gun stabilization, accuracy, and fire control systems for increased effectiveness in engaging targets. The Mark V will also feature a modular design, allowing for easier upgrades and adaptation to different mission profiles, and the potential integration of new systems and technologies in the future. Crew capacity will remain the same, with the driver, commander, gunner, and loader. Mobility will probably be increased with an upgraded engine providing more horsepower and advanced suspension systems for improved off-road capabilities. Overall, the Merkava Mark V represents a significant advancement over the Mark IV regarding protection, firepower, and technology integration, while retaining the core design principles that have made the Merkava series a respected name in armored warfare. Only time will tell if the state-of-the-art features of the Mark V Lightning will prove its worth in the intended urban combat scenarios where its sensors must excel in close quarters combat.